Do you remember the players whose hits echoed in your memory long after the game ended? Well, here are 10 players who struck fear into the hearts of opponents with bone-crushing hits on the gridiron. Let's start the countdown. Coming in at number 10 is none other than the intimidating force, James Harrison. Just one look at his photo is enough to send shivers down your spine, making him a perfect fit for the rugged steel curtain defense. As Harrison's career progressed, he gained a reputation for being a downright scary individual on the field. Some labeled him a dirty player due to frequent fines, but it's essential to consider the context. Many of the hits that earned him fines were initially legal when he entered the NFL. However, as the rules evolved, Harrison was forced to adapt. Changing one's instinctual style of play isn't an overnight process. In the context of this list, focusing solely on the hardest hitters, James Harrison undeniably earns his spot. He was a violent player who left a trail of battered opponents in his wake. Whether it was under the old rules or adjusting to the new, Harrison's ability to deliver bone-jarring hits solidifies his legacy as one of the fiercest hitters in NFL history. At number 9 on our list, we have none other than Cam Chancellor, the boom in the Legion of Boom. Chancellor wasn't just a safety, he was the one who set the tempo for the Seattle Seahawks defense. Picture a linebacker playing at safety but moving like Bam Bam Cam, and you'll understand the luxury the Seahawks had with him on the field. Regrettably, Chancellor's career was cut short due to a neck injury, but the impact he made was already deeply felt across the league. His highlight reel is a testament to some of the most bone-crushing hits ever witnessed on an NFL field. What makes Cam Chancellor even more impressive is that he played the safety position during a time when hard hits were often penalized. Despite the increasing scrutiny on physical play, Cam still found ways to deliver punishing blows within the permissible target area, keeping those yellow flags securely tucked inside the referee's pocket. Well, most of the time at least. At number 8, we have Jack Tatum, a player who lived by the motto, I like to believe that my best hits border on felonious assault. Tatum was on a mission to hurt people, and back in his era, the NFL embraced it. While many of his brutal hits would draw flags and fines today, they were perfectly legal at the time, characterized by bone-jarring head-to-head -head collisions. One of Tatum's hits had devastating consequences, turning the opposing wide receiver, Daryl Stingley, into a permanent quadriplegic. It's an absolute tragedy, emphasizing the severe impact of Tatum's hitting prowess. This incident highlights the dark side of head-to-head -head collisions and serves as a reminder of why such plays should be treated with utmost seriousness in today's football. Securing the seventh spot on our list is the imposing Steve Atwater, a safety with the physicality of a linebacker at 6 feet 3 inches, 220 pounds. Known as the Smiling Assassin, he earned his nickname for standing over opponents with a smile after delivering bone-crushing hits. Atwater's standout moment came against Christian Okoye, the Nigerian Nightmare, renowned as one of the best power runners. Atwater's hit sent the 260-pound Okoye backward, shattering his formidable reputation. A force in the box, Atwater was not only one of the hardest hitters but also one of the surest tacklers, accumulating over 1,000 tackles. His contributions were vital to the Denver Broncos' two Super Bowl victories, solidifying his legacy as one of the best safeties in NFL history. Securing the sixth spot is Dick Lane, a standout player in the 50s and 60s when the NFL allowed nearly everything on the field. Lane was a hard-hitting force, known for his signature clothesline move, which, after being outlawed, led him to adopt the face mask grab and slam technique, subsequently banned as well. With zero regard for opponents, Lane's brutal hits contributed to the NFL implementing rules we see today. Despite the controversy, he wasn't a one-trick pony, boasting 68 interceptions in his career, solidifying his place as one of the best cornerbacks in NFL history. 
At the fifth spot, we have Brian Dawkins, a man of devout Christian faith and impeccable manners off the field. But once the game began, his alter ego, Weapon X, took over. On the field, Dawkins was a force to be reckoned with, displaying a desire to put players in body bags, a menacing figure at the safety position he owned the middle of the field with a dangerous intensity. Dawkins' career spanned just before the NFL started altering its rules, allowing him to compile a full career of highlight reel hits that would be flagged today. His most memorable hit came in the NFC Championship against the Falcons, where he crushed all Jay Crumpler, leaving him writhing in pain on the ground. Dawkins' dominance is further highlighted by his accolades. He was the first player to enter the 30-30 club, boasting 36 forced fumbles and 37 interceptions. The 36 forced fumbles, the most for any safety, showcase that his hard-hitting nature went beyond instilling fear in opponents. It translated into tangible impact on the game. Securing the fourth position is Sean Taylor, a tragic case of untimely passing. Despite playing only four seasons, he had the potential to be among the top five in the hardest hitters and best safeties in NFL history. Known as Meast, Half Man, Half Beast, Taylor, drafted from Miami University, lived up to his self-proclaimed title as the hardest hitting player in his draft class. His bone-crushing hits quickly made him the most feared player in the league. One standout moment was during the Pro Bowl when, unlike others taking it easy, Taylor sprinted about 20 yards to deliver one of the hardest hits in NFL history against Brian Mormon attempting a fake punt. Though limited by longevity, Taylor's impact in his short career is evident in a highlight reel filled with some of the hardest hits ever witnessed on the field, leaving us to contemplate what could have been. At number three, we have the legendary Dick Butkus, a force to be reckoned with on the Chicago Bears. Opponents dreaded facing him, and the aftermath meant more players in the rehab room than ever before. In a franchise renowned for elite linebackers, Butkus stands out as the best. Described as Moby Dick in a goldfish bowl, his relentless downhill approach left opponents like deer in headlights. Fast, powerful, and fearless, Butkus ran through contact with unmatched ferocity. Despite a shortened career due to a knee injury, Butkus secures the third spot as one of the hardest hitters in NFL history leaving an indelible mark on the game with his pure desire to dominate ball carriers and blockers. Securing the second spot is Lawrence Taylor, hailed by Bill Belichick as the best defensive player ever. Taylor revolutionized the game, making left tackles one of the highest paid positions. Unstoppable in speed and power, he consistently delivered double-digit sacks for seven seasons, peaking at 20.5 in a single season. Taylor, a three-time Defensive Player of the Year in 1986 MVP, forced blocking schemes to adapt to his pass-rushing prowess, but few strategies could thwart him. While just shy of the title of the hardest hitter, he remains the best pass rusher and linebacker ever. Yet, his legacy is nuanced, with off-field challenges adding complexity. Echoing Rick James' sentiment, cocaine is a hell of a drug. Securing the top spot is Ray Lewis, an icon with the explosive force of a cobra, striking fear into opponents. His flawless movement, never wasting a step, positioned him to deliver some of the hardest hits in NFL history. Whether blitzing or in coverage, he dominated the middle of the field, a key figure in both Ravens Super Bowl victories. Lewis announced his retirement before the 2013 playoffs, leading to a Hollywood-worthy Lombardi Trophy moment. Many victims attest to his ferocious hits, and the Ravens' defense hasn't been the same since his departure, with no linebacker replicating his dominance. Ray Lewis, a symbol of defensive excellence, holds the title of the hardest hitter in NFL history. And there you have it, the top 10 hardest hitters in NFL history. If you've enjoyed this adrenaline-fueled ride, hit the like button, share it with your fellow football enthusiasts, and subscribe for more epic sports content. 
Stay tuned for our next countdown, and until then, keep the gridiron passion burning bright.